Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So I have my February TBR video which I learned I definitely need because last February last month was really really hard picking out books every time I wanted to read a book. Um so I think I'm definitely going to get back on the bandwagon of TBRs. Um, but the bad thing is my TBR looks ginormous because I can't narrow anything down. So I have historical fiction. I literally almost went and I grabbed like every historical fiction that is on my shelf. And then I grabbed some contemporaries because they definitely want to have like a historical fiction February, I think. Because obviously I've been buying them left and right, but I haven't like read any in a long time. And then I have a contemporary section too because I know the contemporary thon is happening. Um, hold on. <coughs> Sorry about that. The contemporary thon is happening this month. I don't think I'll actually like officially participate, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but I know that when I read a lot of historical fiction, I sometimes need, like, contemporary thrown in just to give me some relief. Um, so I literally grab, like I said, almost every single historical fiction book off my shelf. Um, and then I grab some contemporaries that I might be interested in. So I'm going to start with the contemporaries, um, because they're the little bit, they're the smaller pile. So the first book that I would love to get to is um, 2 by 2 by Nicholas Sparks. Um, I started reading Nicholas Sparks when I started my channel um, that Valentine's Day. And I had been binging him ever since. This is my last book that I have by him. So I thought that it's only fitting that I would probably read this around Valentine's Day again. So we'll see because it is a chunker, but that would be kind of cool. Um, the Seven Days of Us by Francesca Hornick. I just hauled this book and I know that they, I don't think it's a snowstorm anymore, but I believe that it's around Christmas. So I figured, um, instead of saving it for next Christmas to read it around now when it's still wintry and it's still like kind of in the moment. So we'll see. Um... This is just if I need something really, really quickly to get through, and this is um, Palm South University. I mean, granted, it is ginormous, but the font is, like, humongous, and I know the first one didn't take me that long to get through, so we'll see. This is a bind-up of a bunch of um, novellas that you could buy separately on Amazon, but they, like, bound it into books, and this just follows the, these kids going through college and their antics and their sororities and fraternities and stuff like that. So just a light, fun add-in. Little Beach Street Bakery by Jenny Colgan. This just seems like this might be a sweet read. <laughs> see what I did there? This month. We'll see. Again. I feel like I keep saying we'll see, but we'll see. Um, Flat Water Tuesday by Ron Irwin. This has been on my shelf for a while. I bought this when I was buying all the books for my um, bridal shower and I made sure to buy the bridal shower copy and me a copy because it looked like it was going to be good and then I just never picked it up. So maybe this month is finally that month. I picked up Save the Date by Mary Kay Andrews like around last su like this summertime when I was like, ooh, I've been loving reading about weddings. And I never got to this one. So, again, with Valentine's Day, maybe this one might be the one I want to read. And then my last contemporary is How to Catch a Prince by Rachel Hawk. This is the third and final book in the Royal Wedding series. This is my last book that I own by her that I haven't read yet. And I'm nervous to read it because I don't have any more books by her on my shelf. But I'm excited to see how this turns around. And obviously with, like, being like around like kingdoms and things like that and princesses and princes and love and I felt like Valentine's Day. You never know. I, I don't know. I really, like I said, I have no idea what this DVR bio. Okay, and when I said I'm going to show you every historical book on my bookshelf, I'm pretty sure, like I said, I think I grabbed them all. Um, so we've got Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sapetis. I just hauled this book. Again, I think World War II, Soviet Union, I'm not sure, 1940s time period. Maybe, is this the one that takes place in Lithuania, actually? Is it? Is it? It doesn't say. You let me know. Because all of you, I feel like, have read this. 
We've got As Bright as Heaven by Susan Mesner. I have also just recently hauled this. This talks about with the Spanish flu and things. And you know I like to try to read at least one of my book a month, book of the month books a month. So we'll see if I get to this one. This book of the month book, which has been waiting for me forever, is The Queen of the Night by Alexander Chi. I'm not actually sure if this is historical fiction. But I figured if I put it in the pile, I might actually finally read it. So, yeah. Again, nobody talks about this book. I remember seeing everybody haul it, and nobody, I have not seen a single review about this. So if you know someone who's read this and reviewed this, please link me to them, because I would love to know what they thought. Thank you. Um, I put Made of Secrets by Jennifer McGowan. This is probably the only YA book in this pile. Um... Which is funny, if you noticed in my last wrap-up, I only read, like, two and a half YA books. Just saying. Um, this is the first book in a trilogy, and I own all three books. And I need to finally read this to know if I'm going to try to rebuy this book because this one doesn't match the other ones, or if I just need to get rid of all of them. So, gotta read this at some point. I need to just suck it up and try it. We've got The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Another Beast, but I feel like it would fly just as fast as her other book that I read by her did. So we'll see. I think this is also a World War II. And it says soon to be a motion picture, which I didn't know that. So did that come out already or is that coming out? Let me know. The Alice Network by Kate Quinn. I love Kate Quinn. I've read everything she's written except this. And this takes place in World War I and World War II. So that could be really intriguing. We'll see if I get to this one. I probably will avoid it like I've been avoiding it for the past, like, two years. The King's Curse by Philippa Gregory. This is the last book I need to read in this stupid series, minus the other Boleyn girl. But, like, really, this is the only one I need to read. But it's massive. I'm so scared of it. But my goal is to at least read one of these big books because when I made that video of, like, oh, these are big books that intimidate me, I read one of them in January. So my goal is to read a second one in February. So maybe it'll be this one. Probably won't be. But we'll try. Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly, another historical fiction book that everybody has been raving about, so I really would love to finally get to this book. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, again another book that was like all the rage a couple years ago and also on my intimidating book list, so maybe this is the month, maybe this is the month. And the last book is The Rocks by Peter Nichols. I didn't actually realize that this was historical fiction, but it's two families, four lovers, one seaside resort community, and a 60-year secret. And if you look at the top, it, like, tells you what years that the section is from. In 1966, 1970, 1983, um, 1995. That was five then. 2005. So, like, it definitely goes around years so I'm gonna count this as historical fiction so those are all the books that I could potentially read this month I'm definitely gonna finish the air by Kira Cass which doesn't really count towards any of these piles but I'm definitely gonna get to those to that one and then what I'm thinking of doing is if you want to you can vote down below and wh whatever one of these books gets the most votes I will like definitely read so do that vote down below Pick one book that you would love for me to read, and I'm going to try to read that one on top of other ones. But I want, I would love to get at least one of these read based off of what you want. Um, so leave that comment. Tell me about any of these books down below in the doobly do, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, everybody.